okay guys welcome back to my wordpress tutorial today i'll be showing you how to create a beautiful looking login and sign up page for your website in wordpress login and sign up page and the membership where they can see their members once they sign in or they log in they can see okay now we're on wordpress on dashboard so the first thing you need to do Let's go to over to plugin. You will be using editing with Elementor, but there's other plugin where to add for this plugins. Go to plugins, plugins, then add new, add new plugin. Okay, now what? I'm gonna type and search. Um, ultimate membership it's called ultimate membership on search ultimate 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 membership or ultimate member you can just leave it in ultimate member ultimate membership let's just leave it on ultimate member so it's loading <clears throat> yes here's it it's about this by ultimate you can see the reviews it's more than 1000 so let's click on install now here's it install now click on install now it's installing Okay, it's pretty much simple, guys. You will see once you get there, it's installing. It's installing. Let's wait for it to finish to install. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, pop, it's installed. Then click on activate. Then let's activate the plugin now. Click on activate here. Yeah. Yes, pop, it's installed and it's activated. So once it's activated, you will see this we already have Elemental. Elemental is so easy, guys. Already installed Elemental You're using Elemental. Here's Elemental. Here's Elemental. So you will see once we activated Ultimate, Ultimate Member, there will be this section. Then click on Create Pages. Create Pages. Okay, these are pages they should be created automatically. So here we're gonna have a user page, login and register, which is sign up or register memberships where they can see their members look out. They can be able to look out their account. They can be able to reset password. Then save changes. Yes, we can just go. And check something else on access. We don't wanna restrict any content, so let's just leave it. Then here is the emails. They will receive this email welcome email. Once they're done registering and sign up, they will receive these emails to welcome them. Okay, you can also turn on if you want to account activation email but I will leave it like this appearances okay now it's fine to appearance like this so it's fine we already created some pages for this then over uh, under ultimate member you will see this dashboard now we're on settings let's go over to forms here's forms go to form then click form okay then see what default registration let's edit a registration form 
how we want it to look like okay so the registration form is going to have a username first name last name email address and password you can add this little plus icon or add icon when you click on it you can add some of the things you want maybe the country the gender the date of birth if you want them to describe their date of birth you can add it on one of these but i'll leave it like this it's so simple and yeah then next to on the site on privacy policy then let's say yes i want them to see the privacy policy maybe you have the privacy policy page you can select the page here maybe where you're written so that when they click on privacy policy they can see their the privacy policy of your website okay customize this form let's say yes you can customize whatever you want but i'll leave it as it is like this then click on update <clears throat> it's updated and let's go back yes let's go back let's go back let's go back to forms forms yes we're done with registration let's edit the default login page form i mean form Okay, as a login, on the login, they can type their username or email. Okay, it's fine. You can even edit. Maybe you want to give your own title or give it or something you want. Everyone can see your privacy. Okay, and I think it's fine. Like this, it's fine. It's much more simpler. You can also add some of the thing you want to them to insert before they log in. Okay. Then redirection. Once after they log in, it must be redirect them to where? To profile. Yes, it must redirect them to profile. Make sure you click profile or you direct to URL. Maybe direct them to uh home page. Maybe then you should click them uh what you call the redirected link. Then you add the link for the home page. Um, but for this tutorial, it will be redirecting them to a profile once they done logging in they should go to profile okay so yeah that's it guys let's just move to dashboard and come back again to forms let's edit the profile default profile okay profile it will have okay profile you can also add what else you want to, to be there in the profile but I don't think there's much things we have to do. Can be visible first name, last name, or anything, but profile is also defaulted as it is. Let's just leave it like this. You can add the new field biography because these are the fields that are there. Can just leave like this okay for me it's fine it's looking pretty well so now let's try to see if this thing is working okay 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 let's go over to pages and see we had these pages okay on pages now with account page login page logout page okay let me just create a menu to make it simple let me just create a menu go over to appearance appearances click menu let's just create a menu i'm gonna call this menu it's going to be on the header and create a menu okay on menu we're going to have a uh, register and login then let's add them to menu yes we have this now on the menu and let's click on save menu yep menu has been updated let's manage a location for the menu to tell it what needs to do yeah the headers the menu okay it's fine everything is fine Boop. okay 
let's visit our sites click on visit sites no what is doing now because i haven't edited anything but let's just go to pages pages let's click the home page then edit with elementor <coughs> home page edit with elementor okay it's loading elementor as you can see now we have login and register menu right on top maybe let's just drag and drop something it's annoying just just for fun for now let's just put a header and click on update update it then let's preview this what this thing now then when you click on login register it says you already registered cause and the one wow, let's take it just copy this link and open it in a new browser uh, something else copy because since here we are like uh i'm the admin so you don't you won't want me to let's open a new browser or a new engine to team let's just paste it here yes this is how it looks this is how it looks as you can see register it's telling us to register you put your username privacy policy they are there then click here agree with privacy police then click on register once you're done then even on login yes you can click on keep me assigned in keep me signed in okay so the pages are there now it's pretty much looking but there's one last thing we need to do maybe let's say yeah on it on register now let's go back then go back to dashboard let's go back to dashboard start with the register maybe you want to customize something then go over to pages once you're on dashboard go to pages then click on login page then edit a, a login page let's edit a login page yes let's edit with elemental using elemental edit with elemental elemental it's loading okay here's this form Here's this form under here because now an elemental okay let's just add something like here right down here maybe let's say uh uh kind of uh, something that tells you if maybe you were looking sign up here sign up sign up here <coughs> Sign up here. Let's make it the thick bold. No man, even this one. Sign up here. Then let's customize and bring it into the center. Then let's change the color into something blue. Yes. Sign up here. Okay, sign up here, then let's just preview this so that you can copy the redirection. Okay, when I copy this link with the register slash the website slash register, and let's copy it, then let's go back here, then let's link this text. I'm gonna link this text now. No, I don't know what is going on now. Let's try with a button. The button is easy. 
right upon one waste time for people who are watching let's just delete this and then let's forward to button and let's link remove the hash then paste your link here the one you copied with a slash register like this then you buy it right here maybe sign up here sign up No, what I'm writing. Sign up. Yes, sign up here. And let's put it into center. And let's update. Okay. Now let's go back to that new browser we are open. And let's refresh and see. And under login, there should be a button. Yes. So maybe you bounce and you jump into login page, then let's just click on sign up here. Then it'll take you to sign up where you can register. Let's do the same thing on register at a button that can tell you to log in here. If you already have an account, log in here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to dashboard. Now we're looking for register page, dashboard, pages. And let's look for register page. Here's a register, then edit. Let's edit a register page, then edit with Elementor. It's taking us to Elementor. Elementor is loading. Elementor is loading. Here's this page here. We are already registered as a member and the member. Let's drop and drag the button. You can also customize the button color into a realistic thing. Because it's register now. Let's say log in here. Log in here. Let's bring it into the center. Then let's paste that link. Paste this link. Then remove register on the link. Put in login. Put in login. Your website link, HTTP link. Then login, slash login, close with a slash. Then let's update. And let's preview on that browser we opened. If it's working now, we're on register. Let's preview. Just refresh and preview. Yes, the button is there. When you click on login here, it's taking you to login. When you click on sign up here, it's taking you straight to sign up. Yes, guys, that's it. It's pretty much simple. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you leave a comment. Any question related to WordPress down below. On a comment make sure you like and hit that bell 